Alright guys, I'm back with another haul, as promised. Uh, I do have a dis uh, disclaimer, like always, because I seem to, in the past, get a lot of comments about this. My TV has got to be on while I'm doing this. It's the only thing that works to keep Harley quiet so that I could film this because I can't do it with him crying and he will grab his cage and start rattling it. Like, yes, he's very needy. So let's get started. Uh, I went to the bins, the Goodwill Outlet Center, and then I also went to regular Goodwill. So I'll start out by showing you guys what I got at the outlet first, and then we'll jump into what I got at the regular Goodwill. So I think I mentioned this on my Instagram story a lot. I got a bunch of scarves. I always pick up scarves at the bins because I use them as fillers. <laughs> with shoes if I run out of the filler paper. Sometimes I like to include them as free gifts. I just, they, they weigh practically nothing. I might keep this one just because of how pretty it is for the fall. So yeah, scarves. Always grab some scarves. Next thing is an Urban Outfitters BDG uh, sweater crop top. I will pick up Urban Outfitters stuff only from the bins. I won't spend money on this at regular Goodwill because, let's be real, it doesn't sell for that much, so there's not a lot of profit to be made if I'm spending $4 a piece on it. Next thing I picked up because it is the season, this is a BP flannel. It's really thick material. Like This is a really good quality flannel. If you don't know the brand BP, it's sold at Nordstrom Rack. Next thing is a Pure J. Jill. This is called the Scoop Neck Elliptical Tee, and it is a size large tall. So it's kind of like that, like swing styled t-shirt. I'm still struggling with this cold, so bear with me. Next thing I picked up is a Victoria's Secret bra. I only pick these up if they're like bigger sizes, because for some, for whatever reason, I feel like the small sizes don't sell for much, like at all. They might sell for maybe like five dollars for me. I don't have good luck with small bras. But this is a 32 triple D, so someone with big boobs is going to want this bra. Not much to say about it. So I found these two athletic tops, and I didn't do any research on them, but I never heard of these brands before. A Aspire, I don't know, if, I, I'm pretty sure this is like a cheapy brand that they sell, like at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but it's still really cute. It's like this, and it has like the ruffle bottom here. Sorry, as you guys can see, he's already started. He's very demanding. Next one is this Te Verde. I've never heard of this brand either, but I found them together, and it's really cute. Alright, next thing is this Anthropology Lil, and it's like a cute skater skirt. It's like this print. Okay, I found an entire bin filled with the brands, uh, what is this called? Iviva, which is like little kids Lululemon. A lot of the stuff was like extremely damaged, like... I'm talking like whole stains, like completely torn up. So that was a little disheartening. But I did manage to find this cute little fleece. And then I did pick these up, but they're stained. I'm going to try and work my stain magic because of the butt. <laughs> it looks like whatever kid was wearing these was literally just like sliding down a grass hill in these. But they're so cute. And then they have, they're like the little like jogger type of style pants. So if I can get the stains out, that would be great. I mean, if not, it's not a big loss. Like this probably cost me a dollar. My total that I spent at the bins was 21 bucks. So I definitely got a lot more than 20 items. All right, so this is another Urban Outfitters piece. This is uh, the brand Truly Madly Deeply. And this is such a cute top. This is like one of those off the shoulder tops and these are like super popular I have a couple of these shirts and I love them I mean I know it's not the season right now but people that are in summer all the time someone someone's gonna want this next is another uh, anthropology piece I think that I call this Bordax but I think it's Bordeaux but 
I always, when I read it, say Bordax. This is the softest shirt ever. It just looks like that. Another flannel. This one's from American Eagle, which I usually don't pick up American Eagle like that unless it's like one of the, like a stable piece, like this flannel that's like super soft. And it's the boyfriend fit, which is great. Another Urban Outfitters find. This is so cute. It's by Silence Plus Noise. And it's like that slip dress. I love this. Like how pretty is that? And then the back is like it has like the double strap. And it flares out. It's so hard to show you guys like what the full item looks like on this screen. Next is this skirt, which is so pretty. All this stuff needs to be washed, so we are going to the laundromat tonight, so I wanted to hurry up and get this haul done ASAP so I could wash it all and list it. This is French Connection, and it's like this adorable embroidered skirt. I'm seriously in love with this. And it's an eight, and it's my size. Oh, God, I'm gonna stay away from this stuff. Next piece is this loft, and it's a size extra large. And it's this really cute sweater dress that has these sequences with like little beads on the sleeves this is cute this is a j crew italian cashmere sweater then i picked up some lane bryant size 20 skinny jeans because right now is the time to start listing jeans and they're just really plain Next is another uh, Bordex, Bordeaux, whatever shirt. It's just like a striped peplum style t-shirt, but I think it's really cute. Like, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm always attracted to like stripes. On to some jeans. I found some really great jeans. I found a pair of Hudson jeans. So cute. Like the back has like the flat pockets. The bottoms are a little frayed, but they're not like bad like I won't pick up jeans that are co you know when you get those jeans that like this whole section is just like chunked out I don't grab jeans like that if they're a little frayed I think it's okay then I found a pair of seven for all mankind dojos in the bins I never find these at the bins I found about three pairs of regular goodwill I just sold a pair yesterday actually which is funny because when I found these and I went to take out my phone to take a picture of them at the bins, I had an offer on Poshmark for, I think they offered me 40 and then I countered at 50 and they sold. So I'm excited to get these listed ASAP to make another 40 bucks. And then I found these with those and these are Free People and they're black uh, flared jeans which flare jeans is coming back well it is back so if you do find flare jeans don't be afraid to pick them up they will sell like I've sold plenty of flare jeans we got two items left from the bins haul I always have luck finding vintage Levi's jacket at the bins like I feel like I find this at least once every I'd say maybe month or two I love selling vintage Levi's if you guys haven't already figured that out this is a men's size large like this guy is seriously huge but I feel like it would fit like a women's size like large or extra large as like oversized fit or I could even sell it um, as a men's I think I'm gonna start Manny's closet <laughs> he made a Poshmark and he he's bought two things already so far on Poshmark so I think I want to start like picking up men's stuff and photographing it for him and get him to list it just so we can bring in some more money because men's stuff on Poshmark is starting to pick up so I am definitely on the lookout you know which is my favorite item from this haul at the bins <laughs> I'm like super excited over this you guys you have no idea it is an anthropology 11 tweed jacket like check that baby out she is beautiful. I was so excited when I found it. And then I was looking all over for a flaw. I was like, please, you got it. Like, there has got to be a flaw somewhere. And there is 
no flaws on this jacket. Like, someone must have threw it back because it was just chilling there, like, on top of a pile of clothes. Someone just threw it back. So I'm happy I grabbed it. On to the stuff that I got at regular Goodwill. The first thing I got, I never heard of this brand before, but I googled it, and they do sell for a lot of money. It's DRA Los Angeles, and it looks like their sweaters sell for like over $100, and the quality of this thing is amazing. It's just a plain white wool sweater, but it's like that squared fit. I don't know, I feel like this would look really cute with like some high-waisted jeans. I want to keep this stuff like folded nicely. <laughs> uh, next thing I got is this Bowdoin striped dress. And it's just like the t-shirt style dress. I feel like that was cute. So my total overall for everything was $101. Next is an Anthropology Maeve, and this is like a cute, like embroidered tank top. Okay, this is like extremely wrinkled. It needs to get steamed before I can do anything with it, but it is flax, and it's like a cute black button down. Next is this adorable free people sweater. It's like the front is like this pink and white, like multicolored. And then the back is like a white crochet. I love free people sweaters. Like I love selling free people sweaters. I, I uh, tend to stick away from like free people shirts. If, I don't know, it's really hard to explain. I feel like free people sweaters do way better than free people shirts. All right. Next thing is another th another item that I never heard of before, but when I Google searched it, it looks like they retail for a lot of money. It's Dorothy Shoemaker, Schumacher. I don't know if you guys can see the tag, but the front is like this plain white, and then you can see like the sides have like that print. And then the back, the full back, is that print. This shirt is so cute, and you can just tell by the way it feels that it's, like, really good quality. All right. Next thing I picked up are these workout leggings. They don't have a tag in the inside, so I'm not sure of the size, but they definitely seem like they're a size small. And I didn't know what brand this was at all. But I could tell by the quality of them, like the way they, they feel, I knew that they were something good. So I looked it up and I think it's called Fab Athletics or, uh, I don't remember actually. Yeah, I'm not sure. But I know by the time someone comments on this video, I'll know what they are. But they're so, like, the quality is so great. Like, I love them. I also thrifted a pair of Athleta leggings, but I'm currently wearing them because anything Athleta, if it's my size, I keep it. I'm obsessed with Athleta. I love it. Honestly, I feel like I love Athleta more than Lululemon. I don't know why, but I feel like Lululemon, like the way it fits on me personally, it just doesn't fit me right. Athleta just fits me good and it's always like flattering while I'm wearing it. All right, another pair of flare jeans. These are Adriana Goldschmied, I just say AG, and this is the Mia Pintuck Flare. So the bottoms are flared, and then the front, this is what stuck out to me the most, is how it has that line through the front. I just feel like that's just like makes it look more classy. Okay, next item, I always pick these up. It's a J. Crew sweater. And it has like these cute, let's see if I can show you guys, like these cute little sparkly beads in the front. And it is sweater weather. So this guy will definitely sell. All right, next item is this Talbot's 
like short sleeve sweater. I only picked it up because it has like those cute little jewel detailing on it. And I feel like anything with this on, it always sells so quickly for me. Next thing is a soft surroundings. You guys know I like this brand, especially for sweaters. So cute. It looks like this, but the bottom half has like this detailing. Sorry guys, this is like so hard to show you. But it's actually like a wrap sweater. Like, not a wrap sweater. It's like asymmetrical. I don't know if I can show you guys. Guys, just forget it. I think you'll get the idea. If you look on my Poshmark closet, then you'll see it when it's listed. Next thing is this Trove, which they sell this at Nordstrom Rack. The only reason I picked it up is because it's brand new. And it's this plain black button down. It's just a sheer button down, nothing special. And I'm super excited about. I love selling these. It is a We the Free thermal with like the cuff and I don't know the style name for this one I haven't really done any research but the cuff looks like that so if you guys know leave a comment hopefully but I'll have the comments before it's listed so I could just click do a google search next thing is a Alice and Olivia white knit sweater it's more like a crop like this is like a crop sweater but it's like brand new. Like I don't think I don't think anyone wore this. Or if they did, they only wore it once. <sighs> Alright, next thing is this brand. I never heard of it before either. Lots of new brands. I'm always experiencing with new brands. I love finding new stuff. It's called Vivid, but I could just tell that anything usually that's like linen is usually pretty expensive. So it looked like these things were going for about $70 new so I picked it up I'll probably list it for like 30 35 bucks and see what happens next I picked up I don't I stopped picking up LuLaRoe because I feel like LuLaRoe is like going down the toilet no one's really buying it unless they're like plain black Irma's because <laughs> that's the only LuLaRoe that I've been that I've sold in like a month so LuLaRoe and I don't know. I felt like this print was cute just because it's like more subtle and it's just like black and gray. I feel like all those crazy prints, like I was picking that up because I thought that that's what like everyone wanted, but they're not selling. I personally didn't like them. So now I know like don't pick things up that you personally don't like. And I don't like any of that crap to be honest. Like it's too much. All right, next thing is another pair of Hudson jeans. These are so cute. They're called Krista Super Skinny. They're like a pale pink color. And then the bottoms are like cuffed, which I don't think originally they were cuffed. I think whoever owned them cuffed them. But yeah, they're cute. And they're really like, like I don't know how to describe the fabric. They're like silky feeling, like they feel slippery. Okay. Last item. I picked up these Theory dress pants because I remember when I worked in banking and I had to always dress professional. I loved these type of fit dress pants because they're skinny at the bottoms. And I don't know how to like describe. I wonder if it has like the style name. Like the fit. Shit. It doesn't. I don't know how to describe it. They're like, like stretchy and skinny at the bottom and crop. Those are like the best dress pants for like women, like young women. That's what we like to wear because it's more flattering and looks better. So that was the last item. That was my full haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe if you're new here, and follow me on Instagram. My name is the same, the Queen of Thrift. 
and I will probably keep making these for you guys because I know I fell off like big time so now I'm gonna start making at least two haul videos a week for you so have a good weekend bye